Hi everyone, Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor, City of Adelaide, great to see you. I'm pleased to share with you the October updates for what's happening at Adelaide City Council. On Tuesday evening in the Council Chamber, the elected members decided to press ahead straight away with making some minor upgrades to the Frome Street bikeway. Primarily, that is to improve safety, because safety is always paramount, no matter what we're doing. Secondly, I'm very excited to say that in that council decision, we're now going to engage with Minister Stephen Mulligan and have a discussion about how the State Government and Adelaide City Council can partner together to progress the Frome Street bikeway, and just as importantly, to look at not only a north-south corridor across our city, but an east-west corridor across our city, so that we can get some great top quality cycling infrastructure right across our city in two directions, which will work for motorists, work for cyclists, pedestrians, residents, small business, property owners, in fact, something which will work for everybody. Part of the essential role of local government is to provide top quality infrastructure right across the city. And that means our roads, that means our footpaths, that means our street lighting, that means our parks, our squares and our parklands. This is really important mandate for any local government, Adelaide City Council included. I'm very pleased to share that this year, prior to 30th of June next year, we're going to be doing some works on 20 additional roads right across the City of Adelaide over and above what we were already doing. So you will see in coming months lots of workmen on the streets. Just be patient with us because what we're doing is we're improving the infrastructure across our city for everybody. It's a really good outcome. If you haven't been down to Rundle Mall lately, I really encourage you to do so because what we've recently done is we've installed the catenary lighting system, which is the lighting system which is suspended above Rundle Mall. If you haven't seen that at night time, it looks wonderful. And on Friday nights, you'll always see it and it'll be full of shoppers, which is great. Just as importantly, now that the mall project is virtually finished, we've seen over half a billion dollars worth of private investment, which is retail fit outs, new shops, shopping centres, hotels and so much more come into that precinct. And that's very important because Run the Mall is a key driver of not only the retail sector, it's a key driver of jobs in the City of Adelaide. So if you haven't been down to have a look at the new suspended lighting system, please do. And soon we're going to have the best Christmas decorations coming up, but I'll chat with you more about that next time. This month, Adelaide City Council was also recognised with an award at the Australian Technologies Competition. And this is great because what Council won the award for was the ecosystem which is wrapping around all of our entrepreneurs. There are now 109 separate programs offered by local government, Adelaide City Council, state government, universities, private providers and other institutions which are all out there nurturing, helping, enhancing and growing entrepreneurial activity across our city. It's absolutely critical. So we are pleased to be recognised with a national award in this space, but we're not resting. There is so much work to do to keep driving the entrepreneurial activity of this city forward. It's very important for all of us. Do you know of someone who's really out there contributing to the city of Adelaide and contributing to society? Well, now is the time to recognise them because now is the time to lodge applications for the City of Adelaide Australia Day Awards. Visit adelaidecitycouncil.com and follow the link. This is important because there are three award categories which are going to be coming up and you can nominate someone that you know. They are the Citizen of the Year, that's the big award. There's the Young Citizen of the Year, which is just as important, and there's the Community Event of the Year, of which, as you know, we have so many events across the City of Adelaide. So please, everyone, on the front foot, let's see lots of nominations coming in because it's really important to recognise those people who are doing great things in our community. That's it for this month. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you in November. In the meantime, any queries, please do contact me. Contact anyone in Adelaide City Council. We're here to help. Thanks so much.